In the name of Allah, the Beneficent and the Merciful, hello everybody, how are you doing? We'll be doing great by the mercy and grace of Almighty Allah. My name is N. A. Sakib. I'm your IELTS mentor, IELTS trainer. Additionally, been also teaching the students of spoken English for the last 20 years at the platform of Genius Institute Lahore. Dear friends, we are also professional student visa consultants. We accept your applications for UK, Australia, Canada, America and across Europe. Uh, lots of success stories can be found on our YouTube channel, Genius Institute Lahore. Dear friends, we are offering online classes and offline classes. I mean on campus classes. If you are interested in any one of them, you can contact our number given in the description. My today's lecture would be about IELTS Life Skills. Yes, very famous test known as A1 level test. My dear friends, previously I have uploaded three significant videos regarding IELTS life skills. One was introductory in nature. The two videos were actually directly associated with your preparation and it was about 1A and 1A, 1B phases. Now it's the third actually regarding the exam and the fourth overall video which I'm gonna, gonna upload for you guys for your better preparation for IELTS life skills. It will be about its third part and it is about the listening. Yes, the previous two parts were about speaking and this part is the listening part. So be attentive, you gotta be careful about listening and you must have a, a lot of uh, practice before you jump into the examination so that you may not have any fears or any reservations regarding the test and you must straight away uh, you know, succeed in this examination. If you haven't joined any institution for your better preparation, we give our services to the candidates online and on campus. So, straight away, Genius Institute Lahore is helping you out in your wonderful preparation and you'll be able to just pass the examination the first attempt, inshallah, hopefully. Now, this is the third part. It is known as uh, 2A or phase 2A. So in this part you listen to two short recordings on a CD and you can make notes if you like uh, because you will be provided with a paper and pencil. You can take notes uh, if you are willing to. The examiner asks you and your partner one question about one of the recordings. So this will be the first part of this phase one question from each candidate would be asked then listen to the recording again and answer the questions about the other recordings yes in this part of the test the examiner will show you some pictures so listen to the recording and answer the examination examiner's questions now the examiner actually speaks before playing the recording so he speaks uh, uh, loudly for your understanding. So what he's gonna do, uh, you would see, he would see that, he would say, I beg your pardon, uh, you hear two people talking about college classes. For example, I'm gonna give you an example. So you hear two people talking about college classes. Who's talking? He will give three options, a student, a parent, or a teacher. So listen to the information. So that's what he's going to say. Both students actually are informed what recording uh, uh, first or second they will focus on respectively. So you've got to be attentive which recording is yours. And you've got to focus your attention on that recording, not your candidates, your partner's recording. <laughs> so my dear friends, uh, I, I must give you an example of all that stuff. For example, uh, there are two candidates sitting and uh, being interviewed and their names are Zad and Usman. For example, the examiner would say, Zad, in the first recording, who is talking? A student, a parent, or a teacher? And then uh, he will play the recording and you got to mark on your sheet. You can write an answer. Um, I will give you some uh, very valuable instructions at the end of this lecture. What you can do or what happens to uh, be very favorable, favorable for you if you are taking notes 
your mother tongue no problem whatsoever because examiner is not going to check out what you have written your mother the mother tongue you're taking notes it's okay and um, then mr usman for example in the second recording who's talking a student a parent or a teacher so um, in order to make it more attractive or to engage the student or to bit of uh, entertaining factor uh, make it convenient for the test takers they they actually choose some of the pictures to answer this is the first part in which uh, each candidate will be asked for one question each yes and in the second part of this test or second part of this phase for example i must say uh, now listen again and answer these questions yes for example zad zad will be you know um will be given uh, attention by the examiner he would say zad in the first recording what class mrs black teach what does rather mrs black teach um and how long is the course two questions have been asked simultaneously in the previous part of the same phase one question each was asked now the two questions each uh, will be asked from each candidate so the first question is what does mr mrs black teach and the second is how long is the course and then similarly usman in the second recording what does mr chang teach and what number is the classroom so my dear friends that's over i mean it will the uh, it will be the test of your listening uh, three questions will be asked and uh, you got to answer all these questions uh, with a lot of uh, concentration uh, a lot of attention should be focused and as i told early on you need and focus your attention on your partner's re recording you must focus on your own recording so that you may uh, understand the text uh, the meaning and the theme of the text or the important valuable words of the text and you may you may have uh, you know the option of writing it down on your uh, paper provided so that's everything now I'm gonna give you some uh, some very valuable tips for this part or this actually phase which is a different form actually all uh, three phases and phase 2b will also be a kind of uh, conversational phase uh, the first two phases are also in nature, in nature conversational phases but this phase actually 2a is listening in nature so it's different so you got to be uh, focused on this stage with a lot of concentration the test tips for this section are for this phase are if you don't understand the question ask the examiner to repeat say can you repeat the please can you repeat that please could you say that again please so you can speak these sentences to the examiner in in case you are unable to understand his question number two is you can write the important words uh, or even write the question in your own language for example you're Urdu speaking you can write in Urdu no problem whatsoever examiner is uh, having no concern with your personal note-taking process and your language so you can take notes when you are just listening and uh, the next one is listen for the important words only to get the meaning so don't try to understand every word these words are nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs so you must focus on the main verbs and main uh, you know parts of speech um, if you've got a bit of uh, practice with the help of your teacher before appearing the test it will be extremely con conducive and very useful so the next point would be the next tip rather would be you don't need to answer the question in sentences you don't need to make your full flesh sentences for answering your question the examiner's question rather you can answer with one or two words no problem whatsoever 
eight and a half because that's the demand of the exam that you must be able to understand what is being uh, said or what, what you are listening in the recording and you <clears throat> I beg your pardon so can you understand and respond the questions uh, respectively only listen for the answers to your questions so just focus on your own uh, recording try and try to listen for your partner's questions and answers so it's none of your concern uh, so be uh, particular about yourself remember the examiner will ask you three questions one in the first part of this phase and two questions later on so your first question is about uh, one recording then two more questions on the other recording so in number totally there are three questions altogether the next step is remember there are two recordings uh, the examiner will tell you which recording to listen to now, that's very important really if you're not sure ask the examiner uh, you can focus on your own recording not your partner's recording because it's not going to pay you off and uh, it will uh, you will be concentrating on your own personal recording by the way if you don't understand the important word do not stop listening often the speaker says the word again that's important uh, if the bit of problem you couldn't understand one important word you mustn't stop listening you must continue listening until you finish it because uh, examiner maybe maybe the, you know in recording the same word which was different uh, or difficult rather it would be uttered again by the speaker you can write the answers down when you hear it no problem yes you got paper and pencil so you can take notes you can write an answer in your own convenience close your eyes and look at the table or look at the table to help you listen you got to concentrate concentrate and concentration is possible if you are closing your eyes or you are looking at a table or something not uh, you know uh, having uh, you know uh, eye contact with the partner or with the teacher or with the trainer or with examiner so there is a possibility these two are you know, they will be sitting in uh, in front of you as well but you better just concentrate uh, by closing your eyes down and, or by just looking at the table you can't ask the examiner the, to play on the recording again not again it's only once the cassette or the tape will be played there is no second chance so you got to understand everything in the first recording and take notes when you are listening so that's it no second time playing of the audio the next one is make sure you understand times and dates easily and quickly for example you must be able to understand seven o'clock half past seven quarter past seven um, uh, five past seven or uh, ten to seven the, the times and dates uh, the 25th of march may the 26th or the first of april i mean you must be able to understand the dates and the times accurately and try not to worry breathe slowly and stay calm now being cool and calm is actually is going to guarantee your success so no don't bother about anything it's an easy test but still a test is a test and you got to be uh, been ready for appearing at the test and if you happen to just do a better preparation from some seasoned IELTS trainer so then you know you will by the grace of Almighty Allah clear it or pass this examination in the first attempt we offer the services here at the platform of genius institute lahore we offer you one week classes two week classes three weeks classes four weeks classes and it depends on your language proficiency level and your education level so you don't want to have the second chances come straight away to the genius institute lahore we'll offer you wonderful super duper classes uh, and you will be just able to pass the examiner examination in the first attempt do not stop listening because you think you know the answer 
listen till the end of the recording to be sure this is very important tip sometimes you misunderstand uh, in the beginning and you understand that you've uh, got the answer but that's not the right answer you got to finish your listing uh, till the end of the recording to be sure about the answer exact and correct answer so my dear friends that's it it was the phase three or two a about your listening and I hope you would have understood what is what is what is it all about and how you can uh, tackle the listening phenomenon and you better just have a lot of preparation before appearing for the exam this is the only solution otherwise there can be a certain problem uh, in understanding because uh, examination has got always a fear with it so if you want to dominate your fear be set away ready for appearing in the examination. My dear friends, I'll see you with the fourth and the last video, which will be about, uh, once again, a conversation kind of, uh, you know, a, a phase. It will be about to be, or to be or not to be. That's the question. What it is nobody in the mind to suffer. The slings and arrows of our to just fortune are to take arms against the sea of troubles by opposing and them. Man delights me not. Oh, mustn't be, you know, worried about it. It's all about Shakespeare's language. It has nothing to do with your examination at all, actually. I just remember a few lines from Hamlet, Shakespeare, one of the master, uh, one of the super duper plays, uh, one of the tragedies, the greatest tragedies of all time. And I just related and had to find, found a bit of association with to be, actually. It's a very universal line to be or not to be. My dear friends, I'll see you shortly with the fourth stage, fourth phase. Wait for that unless, until I upload it. God bless you all. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.